Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be making a video on how to go and set up a Discord server for your Twitch stream. A lot of people always ask me how to go and make a Discord server for their stream and also because I'm pretty proud of my Discord server, I think it looks pretty nice and also I will link it down below if you're interested in joining. All right, so first comes to first, we're going to go and go to Discord and then we're going to hit this plus button, which is add server. And then we're going to hit create your own and for club or community, you can also change this later. So we're going to go name our server and add a profile photo. Um, you can add whatever photo you want wants, or I can't English, or you can go and add your Twitch profile photo. All right, so I added my Twitch profile photo and I'm just going to call it cat server. You can also change these later. Okay, so we're gonna click this down arrow and we're first gonna go click server settings. And then we're gonna click moderation. So currently the server is on none, which I highly do not recommend. You're gonna get so many trolls coming into your stream. It's going to be frustrating. So I recommend either putting it on medium or high. My server was initially on medium, but I still was getting a lot of trolls. So I upped it to high. And then under explicit media content filter, scan media content from all members. And then we're going to hit save changes. All right. And then I recommend going and adding a bunch of text and voice channels that you want. So currently all we have is gen um, chat. So I'm going to go and add a couple text channels for games that I play. And you should do that as well. I play a lot of League of Legends and Valorant. So I would add that under text channels and then under voice channels, I will also add voice channels that are relevant to those specific games. So we're going to add league and then we're going to go and add Valorant. Uh, so I'm, I, oh, my bad. We're going to add league and then we're going to go add Valorant. We can add this for now. And then, uh, let's see, I'm going to right click this and then create a new category and then call it stream stuff. So let me just go and drag it up to the top and then we're going to go add some more text channels. We're going to add one for announcements, which would let your um, server members know when you are live. We're going to create that. And then just another fun one to have are clips and highlights. We're going to do that. And then let me go right click and then we're going to create another category and we're gonna, just going to call this um, welcome. Create category. This will be used for your bot that you will add soon. So we're going to create one channel and we're going to call it um, welcome. And then I'm going to create another channel called rules. So no, these I think are the basic ones you should have. Um, and basically, uh, I will go into depth as to what these two are for later. Now, if you want to make this look cooler, if you want to have fancier text, I recommend these two websites. So the first one is coolsymbol.com and here you can just find some really cool and fancy looking symbols to go and use as symbols in your Discord server. And then for fancy text generator, we're going to go to the first one when you look it up. It's called, it's by LingoJam. And you can basically go type anything here such as welcome and then it will auto generate it in fancy text on the right hand side. So we can go use this to go and make the text look nicer. All right, so I just went and made the text look a little bit better, added some symbols. Now we're going to click the down arrow again, and then we're going to go click server settings. And then we're going to go to roles. Now under roles, you automatically default to having an at everyone role and you can't get rid of it. Um, so under the general server permissions, we're going to go turn that off and then don't forget to save that. And then we're going to add a new role and then title whatever role you want this to be. This will replace your everyone role um, once people react to your rules, which we will set up very soon. So I'm just going to call it milk tea. And then, you know, if you click this custom color here, you can just automatically select the color. We're going to go and display it role separately from online members and we're going to save changes. And then now if you hit escape, Currently, it's just online, but it's okay. We're going to give myself the milk tea roll. Now, you're going to add a Discord bot to your server. So I personally use the uh, Me6 bot. So I'm just going to go click add to server and then go and set up the Me6 for whichever server you just made. Um, I just don't want to show the servers that I currently manage. So then um, we're going to go hit continue and then go and give it authority for everything. And then check this. Bam. So it automatically defaults to you to these. I personally use the welcome, the embed, and the reaction roles. So for welcome, 
You can enable this if you want. I think it's pretty cute. So you can go and check send a message when the user joins the server. So we're going to go click that welcome channel we made initially just so all of the stuff, all of the spam messages go into that one server instead of spamming gen chat. Um, and then you can customize the, the text however you want. So I'm just going to change it to hi user, welcome. And then add, add a little like squiggly line right here. And then you can also go send a welcome card if you want. I personally paid for me six premium. So my server has custom welcome cards, but it's totally up to you whether you want to do this or not. And then click save. Now we're going to go back and then we're going to go to reaction roles. We're going to click this and then we're going to enable the plugin. So now we're going to go select our rules channel. And then under author name, you can put it if you would like, um, title text, we're going to title this rules. And then now go and write your list of rules. Um, def definitely recommend adding um, all the rules that you want. And then um, type once you have read these rules, react with, and then we're going to go hit this little emoji thing and then add whatever emoji you want it to be. So I don't know, I'm just going to add a peach to get access to the server and then here you can go add little thumbnail images or another image if you would like and then you can change the color of the bar on the embed i'm just gonna make it i don't know i like this blue color we're gonna leave it there now we're gonna hit add reaction and then you want to go add that emoji you just put right here and then go click the plus and then we're gonna go add that roll we just made all right and then now we're gonna hit save and then if we go back to our channel in rules now we have the little embed from our me six so once you've reacted with this, you should get the role. And then see, now we are displayed separately from everybody else that is online, which is the Me6 bot. Now to make sure this completely works, uh, we're going to go and click edit channel for rules. And then we're going to hit permission. And then right now at everyone cannot view this channel. So we're going to, for view channel, we're going to click the green check mark to allow um, everyone to view the channel. And then we're going to go and allow add reactions so check both of those hit save changes and then now people with the at everyone role view servers role yeah would be able to see the rules channel and only the rules channel so therefore they can't see any other channel this allows um you to filter out people that come into your server so that they have to read and react to your rules before they can see any other server or send any messages now we're going to go back to our server, click the down arrow, and we're going to go to server settings, back to roles. And then now we're going to go make an admin role that only you would have to display you separately as the server owner. So we're going to call it server. Um, I'm just going to call it Catliente because that's my name. And then display it separately. Allow everyone to mention this role. And then, yeah, everything else looks good. And then the authority you have in the server is in the order that you appear in the roles list. So we're going to drag ourselves all the way to the top and then hit save changes. And then right click and then roles. I'm going to give myself that role and here I am. And then now we're going to go back to server settings, roles, and then we're going to go add another role again. And these are going to be for the mods. Okay, these are going to be people that you trust. We're going to put them below um, you, which is the admin, but above everyone else allow everyone to at mention this role and then display roles separately from any members and then give them permissions to man it, it's you can give them whatever permissions you want so yeah i personally let mods um view channels manage channels manage roles manage um, emojis create invites change nickname manage nicknames kick members ban members therefore they can ban and kick trolls and then um for manage messages and I believe, yeah, mute, deafen, and move members as well. So we're going to save changes there. And then we're going to go right click and then create a category. And then we're going to go create private. And then we're going to make it a private category. This is simply for only you and your mods. So we're going to go and allow uh, the admin role and the mods to access. And me6 as well, because me6 can play music. And then we're going to go add a text channel for only mods and a private channel voice a private voice channel um for streaming the reason why i do this is i stream in a private call 
because I used to have trolls hop into my call while I was live and they would say the n-word or any other profane things to try to get my stream banned. So because of that experience, I now stream in a private call and then I have a voice channel called Waiting Room and anybody who is interested in um, playing with me on stream or whatever, uh, we've arranged for it, they will join the waiting room and I will only drag in people that I trust. This is the best way I found to go and vet people that are coming into your stream and who are going to be um, in voice call with you on stream. All right, and then we're gonna go to streamcord.io and then we're gonna go click add to discord. Authorize it, I'm human. All right, so here's a dashboard dashboard for a stream cord and this is for my server. So we're gonna go click this, add a streamer notification. We're gonna add a not notification and then we're gonna go look up our own stream, Catliente, and make sure it sends to the announcements channel. And then you can have it mention a role. So then go and select um, at everyone or the milk tea roll, whichever, the, the new everyone roll you just made. And then hit add notification. Oh, and then you can add your message. So you could go add, uh, let's see, Catlante is live and making memes. And then go and link your Twitch. So twitch.tv slash Catliente. All right, and then we're gonna go hit add notification so that now every time you go live, it will show up in the announcements channel. Now back to home, we're gonna go click set up live role. All right, and then we're gonna go back to our Discord and then we're gonna click this server settings, roles, and then we're gonna make a new role, the plus calls live now, or whatever you would like to title it. And then you can put it um, above the general people, but then below the admins, hit save. Oh, and make sure it displays separately, my bad. And then make sure you go and select that role. Oh, I got to refresh. All right. And then under live role, under this drop down, make sure you go and select that live role you just made. And then you can go add a filter. So people must have, must have the uh, role that they reacted to the rules with. So in my case, it would be milk tea. We're going to hit update settings. And now if you're alive, you would be displayed separately um, on your channel. So yeah, that is how you can go and set up a really spicy looking Discord server for your Twitch stream that will also plug your Twitch stream every time you go live and show other people um, on the side roles as well when they are live. Hopefully this helped you. If this did help you, I would appreciate it so much if you checked out my Twitch because I do stream on Twitch about four days a week. It's linked down below. I will also link my Discord and the bots as well as um, the two websites that I use to go make fancy text. Hopefully all of this was able to help you guys and look forward to go seeing your spicy Discord servers.